<laughs> Hello. Hi. You okay? Yeah, welcome Michelle to the Uncut. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very good. Oh, do you always look so beautiful? Uh, like, no, I can't face some fears. <laughs> it's kind of like a Mariah Carey with a blonde and this Christmas tree. I love the vibe that you're having right now. I sat here, I thought it's Christmas. We put the tree in. <laughs> Lovely. It's great. You're in London? Are you at home or are you? No, traveling? I'm at home. I'm at home in Manchester. I just put my little girl down. You have a daughter? Yeah, four years old. Wow. Oh my God, Faye, have you seen her body? I'm just <laughs> like... <laughs> Trust me, it's hard work. Seven o'clock comes, I'm like, bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering how I would look with my first, like whenever that you happens. You look great. You will yeah, look great. Yeah, because I haven't had a baby yet. <laughs> There's always time. Listen, I was late. Yeah. Very, very late. <laughs> so tell uh, Michelle, so you, I don't know if you know Faye. So Faye is one of the participants in The Traitors. Have you seen The Traitors? No, the reality oh. show. <gasps> you should watch the show. It you know what? I've heard huge. about it because one of my friends is in there. It Kieran. 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 Yeah. Yes. Kieran. Yes. So yes. that in fact, Kieran, I like my fiance is, is my fiance's friend. Kieran. He does a lot of acting and stuff. Um, wow. and he was in the Traitors. Yes, Kieran yeah. and I like this. I'm seeing Kieran on Thursday. Yeah. Really? That's okay. my Actually, my dance. My fiance is really, really, really good mate. Everywhere oh. they're them both on red carpet is like the Beyonce and Jay Z walking the carpet. Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> always, I always on point. Wish. I yeah, wish I had her money. <laughs> You will, it's flying towards you. But um, I met Michelle, obviously, I think you did too as Faye. She was uh, at the NSMA. Do you right. remember? Yeah, there she... so many people. I met so many, so many people. people. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, bit chaotic as well, but it was an amazing event. Very chaotic. Um, yeah, <laughs> so, so many people just who wouldn't shut up, just talk, talk, talk through the thing. But <laughs> anyway, I loved it. It was it was fun and um, everybody in the team, like Stephen, they did a great job and really you know good hosting job, the whole really thing good job. yeah and obviously your partner hosted the event i yeah, mean he did it i don't know how he oh, did it the oh, old fella yes yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was stevie and then it was my my fellow <laughs> that's right yes i remember yeah. i think you all got a picture of my brother I've got a picture of all of you with my brother this was at the end of the night though yeah very Who's messy with them ones. <laughs> here in here in mckenna he had the, I think it was a red shiny jacket on. Oh my God, I think I I'm remember gonna him. Send, I'm going to have to send you, you the picture. You need to send, send us the <laughs> picture. Got Sarah McKenna? Yes. Oh, Sarah McKenna. Yes. Oh, yes. Sarah McKenna. yes. <laughs> oh my God, he loves me. Yeah, oh, that's my he brother. Just, he's always messaging me to go out for a dinner because he lives he's in London. Living, he's living there, he's living in London. Yes, he keeps it. He keeps messaging saying, "When are we gonna go out for dinner?" Because he's, oh, he's my baby. Oh, he oh is my, my little is baby. Your, do you know when you said McKenna, I thought that's interesting. Sarah <laughs> McKenna. I met Sarah McKenna that night. Yeah, that's my little gorgeous. brother. He's, he's gorgeous, in it, isn't it? Do you know who I'm talking about, Ramona? Mm -hmm. No, I need the photo. Why do you think I'm quiet? I'm like, <laughs> let me see. Yeah. Let me. A thousand Honestly. people are there. I need to see it photos. Like when I see the photo, I'm like, oh yeah, remember? Yeah. <laughs> you see now, if he was straight and I was straight, he'd be oh, my <laughs> love. It don't matter whether he's straight or not. It's still comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, in Ramona, he is gorgeous. Oh Isn't my God, it? you must be your heart when you say that, Faye. I've never heard you say that before. Yeah, but so... is, is, do you know what? There's something, he's got such a beautiful soul. That's what he I like has. to say. It his has. Soul. I don't know what it was. Beautiful. But there was a it's massive a Beautiful connection. aura. Beautiful aura. His, I his feel spirit. It. His spirit. Like, you just feel safe around him. He makes you feel special. He's a beautiful person, man. And I think he, he did reality TV, didn't he? He did. He yeah. did. He went on some dating show. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he went on some dating show. But he's just, he's, he's just signed up with another agency now at the minute. So he's going to be doing some other bits. So I always bring him wherever I go, especially if I'm in London. Yes. Like, Manchester's quite small, like mm -hmm. we do our thing, but London's quite bigger. So I'm like, right, come Kieran, right, I'm here. Yeah. Come meet me at the hotel. Oh, we love him. <laughs> I love him. I love so him. you sing and he does He acts. 
he's just a, you know what you know what it is he's just special like i, I feel like he's gonna be something because he is something his beautiful spirit we're gonna so, get him yeah. on the uncut because he's on my list Oh, is he? Good. Good. Oh my he's God, my he's baby. already on Faye's list. <laughs> come on, come on. He's my baby, like, so I am super proud of him. And, he, you know, family's important. Everything's, you know, Very. This, Very. Is what makes, this is what makes you special, isn't it? This is what yeah. makes yeah. you. And it's yeah. your family and accepting them for who they are, what they are. Yeah. That, yeah. And he's, he's just my little spirit, kindred spirit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I love that. Because I have, I have a lot of, I have a lot of family. I'm like, glad you brother. mentioned that there was a photo of me and him because that's when it clicked. Yes. Otherwise, yes. I wouldn't have known. But, but yeah. I have a huge family, so our family, my dad's side, has 17 brothers and sisters. How many? Wow. 17. seventeen. So I've got seventeen aunties and uncles. So you can imagine how many cousins we've got. Do you understand me? That's my Irish side. That's my dad's side. But see, our mum's side, they're very small. So yeah. we're very connected. So yeah. we have the big, big Irish family, but then we have our small unit. Do you know what I mean? So it's special. Yeah. It's special. Taken yeah. over Ireland. <laughs> Taken over. Everywhere we go. Um, do you know Michelle? Do you know McKenna? Do you know them? <laughs> Talk about Belfast and talking about the McKennas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell us about you. So everybody who's watching today, um, you sing obviously amazingly yeah. and i love your music Thank on that you. night in the nsma it was the thing that pumped us through the night <laughs> what is it about you like what is it that you do besides not just singing where are you with your singing career and what you exposing your kind of entertainment and performance art side into right now so um yeah so we started in 2008 i was Oh god, it's a long story. I was never no good at school. Got kicked out of school. Typical, um, typical hood environment. I'll be honest. Um, and I was never no good at taking rules. I always wanted to be my own boss. And then it was 2008, and I used to MC. It was the days of jungle, days of MCing. I was a bit of a tomboy. Um, I, I was love never that. Good. I was never a Barbie girl. I was always a. I was always for the boys. Like yeah, I'm one of the boys. It was just who I was. Um, so I yeah. started off seeing, and it was to jungle. And in fact, it's crazy because I need to I need to say this. So I started off MCing, and I used to go out to jungle nights. And the track that's in the charts at the minute, Badadan, it was MC Trigger. So he's from Manchester. It's a one-eyed guy, my my boy. Um, mm. He actually got me in. The, him and a guy called Tech got me into the music. Um, because I just used to love go, to go out and they were emceeing at the time. I was like, yeah, this is my tunes. And um, it made me want to do music. So I left school. I got kicked out of school. Not proud of it because education is everything. But I was just not down with the rules. But then I went into hairdressing and I knew music was my thing. So I wanted to be a musician. Got into emceeing. We did all kinds of shows around Manchester. It was crazy. And then I got with my group, which was called Platinum. And we entered um, a competition and it was um, Urban Superstars. And it's crazy because Lisa Mafia had her group at the time and we were a group. So we were in this group. It's crazy. Oh my God. North Star. Do you remember North Star? With Lisa yeah. Mafia brought them out. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. were in the same kind of thing. This is how long we're going back. Oh my God. <laughs> Not showing the age. Not showing the age. But, um, <laughs> So we entered Urban Superstars and we wrote a track called Over the Heartache. So there was a big thing, underground thing in, in Sheffield at the time. So we did a track called Over the Heartache and a guy called Jamie Duggan took it on. That's what blew us. So when Niche finished, um, we finished kind of Niche on our track, which was Over the Heartache. And it's literally two lines. It's literally two lines. Do you find it funny, babe? Then why are you crying, denying? And it was like a big baseline track. Love it. So yeah. from that, H2O heard about us. Um, and they said, yeah, come in the studio, come in the studio. The studio is in Nottingham, in a derelict toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. In a oh derelict toilet. In a derelict toilet. And we went and recorded H2O, which is like one of our biggest tracks. It charted. Um, we went to number two, Duffy Beats to number one in wow, 2008 so that was how we we recorded in a devil toilet in nottingham it's like the studio the studio they made from a toilet with, yeah. with pads around the toilet it was a devil toilet. 
and we recorded it in there and then we did really really well with that and that went to number two and we're, not, we're at number two for three weeks and Duffy wow. beat us number one then we released another track called Love Shy um, and we had no backing on that no backing it still went to number 12 in the charts which was humongous considering but yeah, yeah so further on bringing it forward now um, so we're still we're still gigging we're still doing amazing venues off the back of these tracks but I was like right I'm getting older now I always wanted to bring a bit of myself out here and yeah. um, so I did I, I did it I, I still do platinum but I thought let me let me just explore Michelle so then I released one track and it was called call me and it got signed by Spinning Records and it was called And Don Diablo is a massive EDM thing. Um, and I didn't even know about EDM. I didn't even know what EDM music was. But it was yeah. huge and all over Las Vegas, America, basically. And I was like, oh my God, what's this music? I've never heard of it in my life. But that did really well. So I thought, let me yeah. keep exploring. So then I've just done a recent one and it's called Darkest Hour that I performed. At my yeah. social, social media awards but well, that's just been signed for a film so this film's getting released what? in america first it's called fire rises so i signed the contract dotted all the eyes amazing <laughs> so that's great yes yeah, so that's fantastic. like the main bit of the film for fire rises so and i've had a dj here he's called um eddie wide boys i don't know if you heard of wide boys no. but they're like i don't know a crew from London. He does Kiss Kiss FM. He does the yeah. radio there, um, but he's just remixed it for radio. So we're releasing that. So at the beginning of January. So we've got our thing in December. So we're going to see the you know the preview of the film, but then mm -hmm. it's not getting released till January. But in January it's going to America first, and then coming back to England. So it's really exciting times because the fact it's going to America first is like, well, if people are going to Shazam it, they're going to want to know what tracks this is. Like, I'm running around I'm like, right, we need to get this track out there. If anyone Shazams it. <laughs> <laughs> but then, I mean, all your music, all your music is on Spotify, right? You like, you download everything on yeah, there as well. And yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah. That's only coming out in the film first. So we're wow. going to do that in January. But the ones you can find on Apple is H2O. Hey, What's it going to be? H2O. What's it going to be? Yeah. And Love Shy Platinum. Lovely. Michelle McKenna, is it? No, Michelle, Michelle Platinum. Is that your social, your handle on yeah. Instagram, Michelle? Yeah. Because she's going yeah. platinum. Uh, hello. <laughs> we've already gone platinum. We've just gone platinum. There you go. Hello. I'm not going to lie. So we've got to you about that. Sorry, let me just show you quickly. So we've gone <laughs> gold. But we've That's just amazing. Gone I'll show you. It's in my hole. <laughs> Here we go. One minute. So these are my awards. <gasps> wow, love that for really? you. That is. I think that. That's go girl. This, this is the first one. Love it. Oh, that's fantastic. And then the, remember the, the Now album. Do you remember the Now album? This yeah. is the Now album. <gasps> oh my god. I love Now. I think I have Now one. one. I have now now number one. I don't know. I think it's still in the loft somewhere. <laughs> I love the love albums. So we've just gone platinum, um, and I'm waiting for the award to come. Is that for our you? old ones? Yeah. So it's good. It's going good. Congratulations. That's, I mean, it looks about... like you're on the right path on everything that you're doing right now. Is it something like right now for 2024? You're just saying you're doing one project. Is there anything? Are you basing your music and your creativeness if through america or you want to focus on the uk oh, right no, now in europe no 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 not at all for america i'm english yeah. like no yeah. in fact i'm irish <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm irish but you're but, um, yeah. but this is my this is my hometown this is where i come from so your I'm domain listen if i break america great i'm not i'm not trying to go for that <laughs> i'm saying like yeah and it's weird because i've got family all over america i've got a huge irish family you can imagine like yeah, but I, my main thing is here, and you know what it is. I'm not even trying to crack anything. I'm just trying to be me and create something I enjoy that eventually my daughter will enjoy. My daughter will be like, oh my, my mom did that. It's not even about trying to crack anyway. It's about trying to release who you are. Yeah. You know, because I've been in a group so long, 
being in a group, you you play your part. So yeah. now yeah. it's about actually, I want to play me. <laughs> I want to be the yeah. main character. <laughs> No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was always the rapper and then end up having to take over um, the singing because one of the girls left the group. So it was hard. Do you know what I mean? It's like I was never a singer, but I had to be that because one of the girls left. Um, mm -hmm. So now it's about actually who am I? Yes. Yeah. No. And I'm, I'm, well, I won't give away my age, but you know, <laughs> I'm getting older. <laughs> Do you know what? You keep uh, touching base on that age. I, I don't think it freaking matters. Look at you. I mean, Listen, you know, yeah, you, like, you look fabulous. Tickles, after a few yeah. tickles and night out, you feel your age. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm telling you that, Especially Ramona. After the National Social Media Awards, Jesus, I was dying. <laughs> Ramona, when she comes to London, she wants to drag me all over to clubs that start at two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Say we're not old. I'm telling you, know, we something. need to explore. You know what? She acts like you know we're old. All... My gig starts two in the morning. So if I'm doing a club gig, it starts at two in the morning. Like I did See? one in Birmingham. I did Newcastle the, on Saturday. So I did Newcastle at half past six, but then I had to be in Birmingham for one forty. So our gig was literally two o'clock in the morning. Honestly, so I feel you. But then, oh man, I'm cr I'm crawling home like I can't wait to get in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Come down south you all the time. Oh, yeah, you? Oh, yeah. I'll have, have to come if, if Sir McKenna's going. I might have to hang out with him. A hundred percent. He comes everywhere. Whenever I'm down south, he's there. Oh Trust wow! Him. Yeah, I'll have to, you'll have to let him know and then let me know in advance. hundred percent. You're more than welcome anytime. No, they go out day. after two a.m. They don't go out in the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually do. We do go out in the day. We do go out in the day. But if it's a gig, it's usually a club gig, so it's usually late. Yeah. So we've got no choice but to be out at clock a morning. Yeah. yeah. Clock yeah. a morning. <laughs> Are you gonna perform? I think I spoke to you obviously at the end of the award show, and I was talking about coming to Germany or doing some gigs in yes. Europe. Are you looking to do something like that, or is it like? 100%. Oh. It's a hundred percent. But it's like I don't know anyone in Germany. Well, <laughs> you, hello. you do now. Hello. hello. <laughs> Hook yeah. it up. Let's do it. You could do something yeah. at one of your clubs. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Like we have New Year's coming up. We have my birthday in January. We have so many events. It's Valentine's Day. There's Let's always something happening. There. If Germany don't know these tracks, then come on. They <laughs> don't because look, I have actually one of the clubs is um, open near the American base, so they're all yeah. Americans there. I mean, you will touch base more with the Americans than the Germans. Trust me with that. <laughs> <laughs> German people are actually difficult to actually communicate to, let alone showing the music that yeah. you're into or I, I am into from London, you know what I mean? They just yeah. know they just about know fifty cent and Sierra and all the basics about are Beyonce. You joking? So, no, I'm not joking. And like sometimes you like to them, do you speak English? They're like nine nur Deutsch is in the Deutschland. And I'm like, Well, you just spoke <laughs> English, you just wrapped half of fifty cents tracks. And it's just like so funny, like when I have these conversations with Germans. Yeah. But when you do come, I think one of the clubs which is based by the American base here, you yeah. would do so sick because if they, they love that music, they, they don't love it. Because yeah. we are high, we are that, we are brave. Do you know what I mean? So when we go there, yeah. we're hyping people up. And that's what it's about. It's about enjoying music. Music is about feeling, a feeling. And if you can put yeah. that in somebody, even if it's one person that's raving and they're like, yeah, I'm I'm latching onto you. And then next thing, that person latches on someone, bop, 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 and it just spreads. It's crazy. Honestly, yeah. we did we did uh, years and years and years ago when we first started out, went to Switzerland. Now, I'd never been in my life, ever, ever been. Let me tell you, I had the best time. <laughs> I didn't even know. Sure you did. <laughs> the Excellent. best time. It was amazing. The people were amazing. The vibe was amazing. And it just showed me, like, because I'd not traveled from before then, I had trouble yeah. with my own little self, but not like doing my music. And to be yeah. in Switzerland, the vibe was crazy. I, I didn't think they'd know about our kind of tunes because it's more R and B, it was more bashment, it was no, more no, that they know. sound. They oh know. my god, it was crazy. <laughs> I have the best time. I have the best memories from Switzerland, honestly. So 
bring me to Germany, let me hot it up. <laughs> We're going to do that. We'll, we'll talk and we'll like schedule something where you come down, even with your partner, yeah. come for a weekend, perform, have fun, make some money at the same time. I'm coming to my girl. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, network and kind of have fun with yeah. it. I think people don't understand UK and Europe, even though there's Brexit. I mean, we're attached at the hip. So What's you might as well, you know, if you're doing any business, spread it across because there's That's enough cool. people listening. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. So in January, I'm in the studio with Colin Francis. So I'm doing some solo stuff next year. But um, I've got a few things in the pipeline. As I say, I've got the new track with the film. And then I'm in the studio in January with Colin Blance at Francis. But he's got, um, he's with Ministry of Sound, who originally signed us. And he's got the back catalogue. So he's like, Michelle, come in the studio. We're going to do it. Ministry I'm of like, Sound was huge, weren't they? <laughs> 20, 30 years ago, Ministry of Sound were. That's who we signed with. That's who we did yeah. hate well with. That's who we did love shy with. Depesh, I still speak to him. He's an amazing guy. He he was the head of Ministry of Sound. Really good guy. Like we're all older now. Do you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, it's crazy, yeah. but we still chat. Like yeah. he he'll tell me, Michelle, you gone gold. Michelle, you got. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but you just I don't love it. On these things, it's crazy. But they're good people, and I'm ready to this year take it over. You know, not many years left. I'm thinking, right, this year is the year, and that's what my... is your what's your plan? 2024. What what are your to what do you need to take off? Do my solo stuff. Yeah, to do to explore my solo stuff because I am a dance artist. I always have been. Yeah. I've always been a performer, and I think this is the year for me to explore my femininity. Mm. Aside from the group, nobody coming into my aura. It's me and show what yeah. I'm made of. And that's it. That's it. And and if people buy into it, they do. If they don't, I'm doing me anyway and I'll be happy doing that. And that's it. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, we just spoke to some, because obviously today's our film day. We talked to like five, six individuals throughout the night. And we just yeah. had someone on who's in the acting industry, right? Quite okay. heavily, very well known, uh, working with A-listers. And, uh, you know, it was surprising for me to learn that now if you want to be an actor or be in a, you know, credited film it's more about actually what your presence is like on social media than anything oh God, else now it is and, now it yeah, is and, because yeah, in my was, day in mm -hmm. my day there was none of that shit it exactly was, I, we when i come into it we had my space yeah it was yeah. not a this bullshit i think it your era one. is my era my space msm yeah. aol yeah and, yeah. and even my space i went in it Uh, that we had to go out and gig. There was no yeah. me trying to put a filter on my face. There was no, <laughs> there was none of this bullshit. Yeah. It was straight up. What you see is what you get. Well, yeah, you travel. Yeah. I paid to travel to go and do my gigs. I paid to graft to get my music out there. This mm. era, it's you post a video, lick a piece of filter, bat it out, bat, bat, bat. That, yeah. you know, and I'm not, I'm not slagging anyone. Like it, it's a lot easier than it was in my day, but my day, graft, graft. There was none but of that But do you bullshit. find it, do you do you feel like now it's, um, is it easier for you? Like because of all these platforms no. online? Or no. It's harder, right? Because <laughs> I feel like it is now. They're competing with a lot more people out yeah. there because yeah. they have exposure. Yeah. yeah, the younger generation that, is us, us old school people, we're not up on the TikTok. Absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we're not there posting every day. Now, we're older, we've got families, we've got yeah. kids. Yeah. But we, and we've got gigs. Let me tell you something, gigs. And yeah. the gigs take over your life. Yeah. On top of your family life, on top of you being a, um, a wife, a mother. And then you've got your yeah. gigs, real life gigs that, you, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um. So where does the TikTok come into that? Because I have to do washing, I have to do school runs, I have to do cooking. <laughs> <laughs> you Absolutely. Yeah, you're and, right. And this is it. This is They've it. Got it very easy, the kids now with TikTok and all of the right. Stuff. But they then, really it, then again, they've got it very hard in the sense of what I will say is there was nothing in my era. I had to. We. I grew up in the era Tupac, Aaliyah. It was. It was a good vibe. It was positive music, positive vibes. No. 
how can I say it, messy with your head kind of thing, yeah? Like the but, media wasn't so impactful then. Like um, right. I agree with you. So I listened no to my CD player. Yeah, no, I just had my used yeah. record, record from a radio on a tape. You press pause and you press the end one, and you used to record same, the radio show. Same. Yeah, exactly. Nowadays, the cyber bullying, there's yeah. trying to keep up with the Kardashians, just trying yeah. to keep up with your neighbor. There was none of that in my day because we had to go out on road. We got changed from school and we had to go and knock on a friend's door. We had exactly. to go. There was no FaceTime. There was no pager. Pager, when that come along, we all thought we were Chris. We all thought we were doctors. <laughs> My pager's beeping. I'm going to the phone box. You know what I mean? Nowadays, yeah. it's like, it's all online and it's dangerous because it gives children... Um, a false impression, doesn't a it? False, a false life, a false impression. Yeah. And we didn't have that in our day. There was no false impressions. We had to go out and graft. Yeah, we absolutely. We had to go out and knock on a friend's door, even if the, you knew the mum didn't like you really, and you go, hi, Sarah mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and it was building yeah. up the character from that. Like, yeah. we had to go to other areas. So yeah. we go, oh, we're going to Burnish this week. Burnish was like, a bus stop away but it was an experience it was a journey we had yeah. to do that the kids nowadays it's it's sad it's harder it's harder so as much as you've got it easier online and being an influencer yeah it's in 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 mental you're right michelle particularly with character building and resilience yes. they've got none of that have they no no you guys have had it no. No, because yeah. we had to have have that character build and we had to come against versity face to face. There was no hiding behind the screen or staying at home on a cyberspace. This yeah. is all new. It's all new. And as much as they've got it easy, they have got it easy in the sense of becoming <laughs> a, a TikTok influencer and, and building up a status in that way. They've yeah. not, they've not, they've not got it. We had the best days. I think that, yeah, I, I actually agree. No, I agree with you. I think yeah. people, the new generation, the ZE, I don't know what the hell they're calling it these days, X, Y, Y, Z, ZE, I don't yeah. really care. But I think the new generation yeah. is missing out on life. I yeah, mean, this is are. the most, like the simplest thing yeah. that we used to do back in the days. Yeah. And that was yeah. so much fun. Uh, so even though you look back fun. at it now, you're like, what the hell was I doing? Yeah. And going to that corner shop and having that yeah. fish and chips and having a little, you I don't know, it. rap or sing. Just yeah. doing the silly things, right? And you think, yeah. they don't do that anymore. Actually, no. now, they're like, hey, let's go home, let's edit a video and let's post that dance TikTok yeah. movement or whatever. This and you think, you know, how are you keeping your daughter away from this actually now? Like, do you know what I mean? Are you not worried? The years oh, to come, hell, like, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But luckily, she's four and she's yeah. still reception. So I'm trying to keep her busy in the sense of act, you know, doing things active yeah. apart from a phone. And don't yeah. get me wrong, she's got to iPad, but I have Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I have <laughs> yeah. children's, children's thing on the iPad when, you know, when she wants to watch it. Yeah. Even now, like, it's all, it's all mad, but you have to keep it at a time limit. You have to yeah. know that being active is better doing yeah. dancing or doing um activities is better and she yeah. loves that because she's active in that sense so but it's as she gets older that's the problem you know what my brother's doing right now like he has a uh, um obviously noah he's five six and then you have amory who's one you know what he's doing he's literally putting him in shijitsu karate football yeah. he loves it he loves it all but yeah. he started at a really young age and i swear to yeah. god that boy he goes to school Comes back, goes to, to, goes back, yeah. goes to um, football, comes back, showers, yeah. then um, do homework. Like, he yeah. put him on such a schedule. I'm like, yeah. why? Why I felt like he was being a bit tough. He's like, dude, by no. doing that, by the time he it's gets home, involved. he's tired. He's not getting yes. involved in the shit outside, what other yes. kids are doing. And I two, agree. he's staying active and stimulative yeah. to doing... Yeah greater things in the future and I was yeah. like what are... and I took yeah. something from that because I'm like what I have a him is is the internet is yeah. iPads and I've seen a lot of this and don't get me wrong I'm not judging anybody I get it as a parent you want an easy life sometimes an easy life is here take the iPad go about your business I get it but I understand your brother because if you keep him busy they're not they're yeah. not craving that they're not craving it and yeah. a lot yeah. of kids do 
because of what they're seeing from the school friends, what they're seeing from other friends. Trust me, it's it's real. So I get that because I put her in dance. Like she, she's so active. She's an artist, my, my daughter. She's like, she's so creative. She wants to create things. She wants to make things. I'm happy for that. I will go B and M's and buy you every creative pack. <laughs> yeah, love as that. On, yeah, as long as you're not on the internet, because I'm like, I'd rather you sit there and glue the whole table with little pom poms <laughs> than than what I sit on your internet. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I will let her have the internet, but it's only at certain points. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, down all <laughs> my girls. <laughs> Is that a thing? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Love that. Midweek. Good. Are you going out tonight or are you staying home? Am I, yeah. I'm having a wine and watching Celebrity Bloody get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's I been a it. long day. It's been a yeah. long day. I've had really big meetings today, I'm not going to lie. But it's love good. It. It's good. Okay, is there one thing you want everybody to know about you for? I mean, you know, it's like everybody drops like a certain thing, like a certain plan or project or something about them uh, before they exit out. Is there anything you want to kind of throw out there? This is your chance to do it. Yes, 100%. So next year I'm doing my solo stuff as long as, as well as platinum. But yeah, look out next year because I'm going to be in Dubai in February. <laughs> That's Love a huge, it. Huge, there's a huge thing coming. I can't talk about it until it's there. I don't want to talk about it. But yeah, there's something big coming next year. So solo wise. Um, you I do guess, know you need to tell me what you're doing in Dubai because I lived in Abu Dhabi, Dubai for seven years. My husband's from February, Abu Dhabi. I so you need to tell me. Come, and then we're going to come to Germany. Hello. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Love let's it. Do it. We're definitely coming this year with solo stuff and platinum stuff, but solo is mainly. Um, so we've got the film that's coming out in January and I'm in the studio with Colin Francis. That's going to be absolutely amazing. So look out for that. Love it. Thank you so much, Michelle. I love you, ladies. We're going to meet you after Christmas and New Year's. Enjoy all your celebrations with your family and friends. We're going to get wasted in the New Year's. So we're going to meet you probably in January, February when I'm down. Definitely. Um, And me when you see him. Babe, (laughs) you come and meet us in London. If you're in London, come meet us soon, okay? Yes, sure. Listen, Sir McKenna, I'll be telling you, message her. So I'll let you know when we're next out, okay? Okay. Love you. Thank you, guys. Love you, ladies. Thank you. Bye, Bye, Michelle. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.